All right, guys, so I was going to start this video when we got up to the but we are on our way to the VPC Center in Grand Prairie, Texas to uh, ship our car. And we left at midnight and it is now six o'clock. So we've been on the road for six hours and we are a little past or just got to Abilene, Texas. We stopped one time to get gas and to walk the dogs. And it's not too bad outside. Not too bad at all. Taking the kiddos with us. I don't know where the other one's at. But I'll share everything with you guys. Bye. wanted to give everybody a little update and I do apologize I am a little sick so my throat is very uh, hoarse I guess um, so we got here about 930 9 40 ish and we went to a car walk well first we went to enterprise to get the rental car but for some reason they only had one person working so it took us about I want to say 30 to 40 minutes to get the car and then we had to find a car wash the car wash was maybe like an eight-minute drive but the car wash like here in Grand Prairie, they only had like the the service ones. They didn't have like the go and do it yourself ones. So that took another 30 minutes. And our appointment was at 11 here at the VPC to turn in our vehicle to ship. And we got here, I want to say like 1140-ish. Because the car wash did take forever. And with the VPC, when you ship your vehicle, your car has to have less than a quarter tank of gas. And we were at more than half a tank of gas. Our car is very, very good on gas it's very efficient so I, I was you know okay i'll drive around for you know 30 minutes to see if i can burn anything barely burn like 11 miles in 30 minutes so that sucked so they do have somebody here that can siphon your gas for you but it costs i think around like 50 dollars, and then they keep your gas which sucks so that's what we just decided on we decided just to come here and have them siphon it for us but the one thing that we are worried about is like the whole pet hair because we have dogs and our, we're actually in the, I'm in the rental car now. My husband's inside the VPC, but they're my little junkie monkeys are Hera, my love, come here. Yeah, she's a little irritated. So we gave the kids these calming pills, right? They're like chewable um, dog treats. We gave them the, these calming pills. My basset down hunter, so he like perfectly knocked out within like 30 to 40 minutes. He was great. My husky Hera, I don't know if maybe it was just a drive, but we let we did leave exactly at midnight and the first like the first hour or two she was sleeping and then for some reason she woke up and she was just like loopy and like she was having long blinks but she had kept blinking so it's she was just weird. Her pupils were really weird, like she was fighting her sleep. It was the funniest thing ever. And then when my basset help when Hunter finally woke up he was awake, but he was like leaning up against the seat. Like he was fighting it hardcore. And then finally he just gave in and called it quits and went back to sleep. And um, the one cool thing about like coming here and I wish we would have planned like a two day trip is they do have the Six Flags here, which is so freaking cool. Cause I haven't been there since I was like a teenager. 
and then they also have the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum and they have uh, a house like a house of wax museum here so that would have been like super cool to do and on top of that they have the cowboy stadium whoop, whoop. yeah we passed by the uh, AT&T stadium and it is so freaking cool but we don't have time but who knows maybe my husband will be nice and let me drive by it I was looking at like the Dallas Cowboys like pro shop like the stadium shop and they they close at 6 p.m. so we'll see fingers crossed everyone but that should be exciting well everyone that's my little update so let's get ready for the little drive back I am gonna make sure we get food because I am starving my husband did get like a little like he got well I got him I got him like one of these but that's not food and then this is basically all we've had this whole drive plus we got like the little mio energy drinks or the energy put in our water i did like surprise them and i got one of these at the car wash because i drove like our car i drove when we got the rental car he drove the rental car i drove our actual car so i drove it to the car wash she followed me in the rental car and then i got it cleaned and then i kind of like cleaned it again because i didn't they missed some spots so that's where we're at. And then like the car they gave us, I'm gonna butcher the name, but like a high on die. I'm gonna say it's an Elantra. It's not bad, but it's not like my pick, but it's all right. So it is like about a nine and a half hour drive from El Paso from, from Fort Bliss. And so we are staying at like the hotel on East Bliss, the Candlewood Suite. So it's like a night, it was nine hours and 38 minutes. So it's, we're gonna take our time to room. I'm gonna let my husband sleep the whole way back and then I'll, I'll drive because he drove here and I'll drive back he didn't want to switch so that's what we're gonna do but I'll keep you guys updated and posted and I hope you guys enjoy my little footage and my pictures and I would really hopefully fingers crossed we go drive back by Ripley's believe it or not because they have like these crazy statues outside but I'll definitely try to see if I can find like pictures online so I can like show you guys where it's at but it's so freaking cool but I would highly recommend, so there's two VPCs, like vehicle processing centers where you turn in your cars. There's one in San Diego and then the one here in Grand Perry. So from Fort Bliss, like this was the closest one by like an hour and a half or two hours. So we came here, but it was definitely worth it. I honestly wish we would have like planned like a weekend. We could have came up on like Thursday, went to like the amusement parks and the museums and that would have been cool. The one thing that I did see and I wish... We would have stopped was on the way up here before we got to like fort worth um there was a like a it was what was it like it was a, a haunted hole like phantom or fort phantom hill i'll have to look it up but it was like a really cool it was a ghost like a, a ghost tour and then they had um um a railroad museum so i thought that would have been cool to do i love museums i love history and i love learning about everything um, that's just how I am I like to learn new things all the time so that would have been cool well here's to the next update bye you guys well everyone it is 2 45 we have been here a little over three hours at the vehicle processing center the BPC um, we got here and he originally must have been originally got the car seen like super fast and they uh, of course told him the obvious like there's too much gas in there so he took it to a place that was like less than five miles away, got it siphoned, came back and waited and waited and waited. And um, uh, finally he got looked at it again. They okayed it. Then he waited some more. And about, I would say like less than two minutes ago, um, a guy came out and they drove it to the warehouse right now. So that's where we're at. Only took three hours. I would highly recommend not to come on a Friday because I heard one of the ladies say that like Fridays are their busiest days. So I would highly recommend to send your car out earlier and don't do it on a Friday. And to, so today is the, let me, what, what's today? Let me check my watch. Today is Friday, February 15th and our car is not going to get there until April 27th. So that's a little time frame for you guys. It does take a, a while for your stuff to get there um just like our our housing is which is hhd and um uab so unaccompanied baggage and household goods those both took um household goods um the big one we sent that out in november the second week of november and that didn't get there until um the first week of january and then unaccompanied or that got there like mid-january and then unaccompanied baggage went out a week after our home good home 
home bag or home goods and it got through their first week of uh, January so it's pretty good but we're gonna be without a car until April 27th so we'll see how this goes but my husband is doing like I told him to do like a walk around the car take a video take pictures of it and he should, should be walking back and then he'll sign like one more thing and then we will be good to go to start our adventure all the way back to Fort Bliss which is gonna be where it's an hour ahead over here so it's gonna be eight hours and 40 minutes but i'm gonna calculate around nine hours because we are gonna stop and get food because we haven't eaten since last night and i am starving i did feed my kids i'm not a bad mom so i did feed my little babies back there hera no hunter okay well they're being sassy gave them food and water i walked them but that is it I'll uh, have some more pics and videos, so stay tuned. Thank you guys all for watching. Bye. All right, guys. So we have been driving for, it's going to be three hours exactly in two minutes. And I'm driving on the way back, which is not bad because he drove on the way there. And total, it's about a nine hour. But the drive is very beautiful, like the sunset is gorgeous, the colors are pretty, and we just passed the turn off to Abilene, and right now we are in, by mile marker 289, um, it says, oh, uh, the Texas Veteran Cemetery, that's where we're by right now. Well, I just wanted to give you guys an update, thank you guys for watching.